Hold on to your butts. Welcome home, residents. Jacob here. And I've been waiting a long, long time to make another dinosaur video here on Dangerville. Here, let me change things up a little. Ah, that's better. And it just so happens that this new dino discovery could have been what was the largest raptor to have ever lived. One that was even larger than the famous and exaggerated velociraptors from Jurassic Park. There's no turkeys in this video. To uncover more about this new breed of titanic raptor, we have to head to the southeastern region of China. Paleontologists here have found what would be the largest fossilized raptor footprints ever recorded. Tracks so big that the creator of them must have been massive. This dinosaur earning the name Fujianipus Yingliangi, meaning foot of the Fujian, a geographical area over there in China. This is the creature that stomped its feet into the prehistoric riverside, leaving these prints behind some 96 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period. When paleontologists came across these and hundreds of other dinosaur tracks at the Longxian site in China, sorry if I mispronounced that, they instantly knew these tracks belonged to one of the most famous forms of dinosaur to have ever lived. A raptor. This was easy to tell thanks to the prince having two toes. That's because the toe with the raptor's mighty claw is always lifted, making sure that it's protected from being damaged by the hard ground below and always at the ready to strike. Typical carnivorous dinosaurs' footprints have three toes. The T-Rex footprint in Jurassic Park is the perfect example of that. But according to the paleontologists there, it was very clear that these were different than any they have ever seen before. Real quick everyone, look how awesome this looks. This is from Julian Johnson Mortimer. You're gonna see a lot of his animation work in this video. And I just have to voice how he deserves way more views than what he's getting over there on his own channel right now, so go watch his videos and give him a subscribe if you haven't already. Like any good researcher stumbling across a giant footstep, you can assume the excitement these paleontologists had when they found the gigantic raptor footprint measuring 14 inches long. Just for a reference, that's roughly the size of a standard keyboard. These tracks, which consisted in a series of five prints, each at the same size and length, suggest the Fujianipus, which let's just call Fuji from here on out, was over six feet tall at the hip, two meters, from what they can tell, and it could have reached lengths of over 16 feet, or five meters. Yet even with this immense size that would have put the big one from Jurassic Park to shame, Fuji likely weighed less than 100 pounds. Also, just as far as we can tell, Going off of what we know about raptors across the board, Fuji was likely a swift and fast hunter, running at high speeds combined with a lean and agile body, and that deadly claw. This dinosaur was likely an alpha of its era, although it did live during a time when another super predator was evolving into existence. Now it's said that mid-sized raptors like Fuji here likely struggled as members of the Tyrannosauridae family came to be. Both competing for the same prey, they would have had to have evolved quickly to make it out on top. And as the Tyrannosaurs grew larger and larger, it became a losing battle for Fuji and other mid-sized raptors. Ultimately resulting in raptors like the Velociraptor, considerably smaller than Fuji, coming to be. Still, in the vast amount of time that Fujianipus was alive, it would have had to have been a mighty predator and certainly not something you would have wanted to stumble across in the ancient jungles of Earth. But until we get more than just footprints, well, there's not really much else we can decipher about this dinosaur. With all due respect to paleontologists across the world, I am by no means an expert in this field, and I do believe that they are giving us the best possible answer to a long dead animal's size and lifestyle, solely based off of footprints and other studies on other similar animals. But it is just that, basing everything off of what is ultimately nothing but a footprint. Still though, the possibility of another giant raptor like the Utah raptor existing on Earth is just really damn exciting, I think. And it just goes to show you how little we truly know about our ancient Earth ruling friends. <laughs> So everyone, I know this was a brief episode, but man, was it good to talk about dinosaurs yet again. And if you want more dinosaur videos, hey, by the way, that Chaos Theory show's about to come out. Hey, also, by the way, the new Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, whatever they're calling it these days, that movie's also set to be well into production here pretty soon, I guess. So if you like dinosaurs and you want more dinosaur content here on Dangerville, you know what to do. Share this video around. Get the algorithm all fired up. That always helps us want to make more videos, especially when you like them. So go ahead and like the video if you want as well. On that note, everyone, thank you for stopping by Dangerville today. I'll see you in the next one.